Hi, my name's Scoob Bat Dan. I've been on the ECF and most of the forums for about eight years now. I'm going to try and help you guys set up the LASMO. First thing you need to do is go to their website. You need to download a program for the update. You're going to go ahead and save the file, which I've already done, so we're going to go ahead and hit cancel. And we're just going to create two folders, Windows 7 and a Windows 10 Windows 8 folder. I have Windows 7, so I'm going to go ahead and go into that folder. There's a patch 86 and a patch 64, time 64. We're going to go to start, right mouse click on computer, and go properties. Under the properties, you'll be able to find that this is indeed a Windows 7 professional computer and it's running 32-bit operating software. So now that we know it's 32-bit operating software, we're going to select the Times86 file. The Times86 file is 32-bit. The Times64 file is for 64-bit computers. So we're going to go ahead and run that and let it run. Yes, it takes a little bit of time. Now you can go ahead and hit the patch button. Wait for it to extract all its files. Now this is going to disappear on you after, and it looks like it's done, but it's not really. Um, you're, it's actually got a, down in the um, start bar, I'll have like a little uh, program icon that's running so you might actually have to click that once to bring it back up but it's going to disappear and you think it's done because it shows that you're done right there which you're not really so close to this and it's kind of wait for a few seconds and then you should get something that'll pop up uh, here in a second any second now any second now. There it is. <laughs> now you're just going to hit next, 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 next. And you're going to let it install the actual driver. Do, 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 do. Now once the driver is done, it'll identify uh, what type of driver was actually installed for your comms port. The comms port is where um, this is identified and plugged in at. So you're basically just going to hit the next, 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 and there it is, the SMT mic Microelectronics. Let's just hit finish now, and then we're going to go to the next step. Okay, before we actually connect this to the computer, let's uh, check the version number of the firmware on the LASIMO. Uh, the reason why you want to do this is because if you run into errors, uh, you might want to actually do a firmware update. Now I've noticed that it's, it's had a couple write errors on me, but I just had to disconnect it and reconnect it within about like 8 to 10 seconds. If I get the program open and then go through and do what I want done, it'll go ahead and do it. So let's find out the version number. Make sure your battery is popped out. Press the fire button, and you're going to push the battery back in. Maintain pressure on the fire button. Flip it over and take a look at the screen. That is the firmware version. The four digit at the bottom, 0746, is your firmware version. And so if you have to ever have to update the firmware uh, when you actually go through the program, uh, just make sure that you're uploading the correct version. So you look for the 047 or 0746 uh, file number. And let's get this thing connected. Okay, now that you've got your driver installed, go ahead and connect the cable up to your computer. Make sure one of the batteries is pulled. Go into Control Panel, open up Device Manager. When you get Device Manager open, you're going to look for the COM ports. Go ahead and break that out so you can see the COM ports that are in there. Now, go back to your device, and what you're going to do is hold down the uh, fire button and the plus button or the, the increase button and then you're going to push the battery in push the battery in okay let me sit you down for a second okay push the battery in and wait four seconds and then let go now you should see a device pop up the STM 
Microelectronics Virtual COM Port COM3. COM3 is what we need to really pay attention to. That is the one that's going to be identified in your program file. That's coming up next. Okay, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's go ahead and get some pictures. This is a, my photo bucket that uh, I've uploaded a lot of pictures to, which I'll share in a link below. Uh, this is a Deadpool picture that we're going to go ahead and convert. Go ahead and save the image, and you're going to save it basically as a PNG because you can't save it as anything other than that. So let's go ahead and close this, and we're going to go open this with paint because we need a BMP. All these pictures that I've uploaded are formatted uh, 320 by 240. So they're 320 tall by 240 wide. So we're going to go ahead and open Windows Paint. And just because they're a PNG doesn't make it any difference. It still can be opened by you know Windows Paint. But I found that Photoshop adds extra things to it so it doesn't work. But if you open it, drag it over and drop it in, then you just turn around and hit File, Save, and save as a BMP. And then once it pops up, you know, where you want to save it and the name of it, you make sure it's 24 bit and then you hit save. Now it's saved, we can close the program. Now let's go back into the Windows 7 folder and then double click on the program exe file. Hit run. And we'll wait for it to kick up. Select our COM port that we know it's COM port 3. We're going to go click on picture, we're going to go out and find our Deadpool BMP, make sure it's BMP picture, and then we're going to select which picture we want to overwrite, which we're going to use number three, and we'll click update, and we sit here and wait. And you should get our green progress bar that runs all the way across and says it's done. Alright, now let's go see if it actually worked or not. Okay, now that you got your file uploaded, let's see if it worked. Go ahead and unplug the cable from the computer, turn your LISMO on, wait for it to boot up, three clicks, go down to your power, go on up to and select M3, which is the one where we set it at. And there you go. You have successfully uploaded a picture. Hopefully this helps everybody out there. You guys have a great day.